currently there are three blocks that have been handed out one block to ongc and two blocks to vedanta for exploration and uh, these two blocks cover a very large area close to about three three districts plus uh, karekal and pondicherry all these areas will be covered as part of the exploration uh, license uh, part of the exploration uh, uh, blocks are on land and a major portion of it is in the sea in the bay of bengal near shore areas exploration part itself would involve the digging of a large number of wells uh, in the case of um, vedanta it numbers over 300 i don't have the exact number and, uh, and and a smaller number for ongc which has only one block it is true that vedanta has a bad track record not just in tamil nadu but all over the world uh, the issue is that regardless of whether it is vedanta or ongc the consequences for the people of tamil nadu and the environment will be roughly the same especially because we are operating in an unregulated environment the government of tamil nadu and the pollution control board has clearly demonstrated that it is neither willing to nor will regulate uh, industries like uh, ongc or the hydrocarbon sector on the contrary what you also have is instead of pushing for enforcement you have the district administration and the police working in collusion with environmental offenders and harassing local people jailing them and intimidating them these things will only increase because people are not going to 30 years ago they allowed because they did not know that they were being lied to now people know that they are being lied to and they will not allow it easily and so the amount of tension between the state and the people will only increase and the use of police force not to preserve law and order but to protect those who are breaking the law will increase uh the exploration that is proposed itself will have very dangerous consequences so especially at sea so there are a couple of things that have been said in both the ongc and the vedanta project feasibility reports uh one that fracking will be one of the technologies that will be used in places so fracking doesn't have to be used everywhere where there is tight gas formations that is gas or oil is located inside extremely uh, tightly uh, formed shale pockets there in order to liberate that gas and bring it into the oil well you will have to break the the shale or, or the, subs- the 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 surrounding rock the bedrock and breaking it is done through fracking fracking essentially means you pump in very high pressure water so one you're taking a scarce resource we're just saying that tamil nadu is going through a massive drought there is no water to drink but we'll be using something like uh, you know 15000 liters per day of water for each well just for the fracking purposes so you having a very major wasteful use of water to frack the uh, substrate and when you frack because the a uh, rock at 3 3 3000 meters has to be broken you create a instability in the land so areas that were geologically stable can become unstable and you can have earthquakes we already had a, an earthquake in pondicherry where earthquake is not it is not common to tamil nadu so we had an earthquake i think it was in 2006 if i'm not mistaken in pondicherry which is a very rare occurrence and those things will become more frequent and when you have fracking particularly in the local area you will find that there are small or minor tremors and houses and other structures will be going under will have cracks and things like that nobody will pay for it because you can't go and ask the villager goes and ask the police will come again uh, the other problem with uh, this is that when when you dig a well uh, there is a lot of waste that comes out along with oil there is also something called produced water this is fossil water water that was you know the same level as the plants that went to make this fossil fuel so maybe a uh, several hundred million years ago the water the sea water that was there that is buried un- under there very highly salty water and full of toxins so all this toxin rich water will come out as produced water and while it comes out if there is any compromise in the oil wells casing then it will come in contact with ground water and it will contaminate the surrounding ground water when it comes out this produced water has to be handled now we know that the pollution control board is not looking and ongc does not care and so this water will be taken and again pumped into some other well 
and that is what they're doing they they're injecting it into deep wells when they inject it again in those areas you have the risk of contaminating the water if you look at the what happens this is on the land if you look at what happens on the sea uh, a major portion of the proposed exploration by vedanta and ongc is in the sea and the way they do exploration is in two parts the first part is to identify the areas or the potential pockets so a, a block is very large it could be several thousand square kilometers so in the several thousand square kilometers what are the pockets where rich deposits are likely and i identify that by trying to identify the nature of the uh, uh, rock formations under the ground and in order to identify the nature of the rock formations i use a technique called seismic testing which essentially means that i make some explosions from a ship i will trail an array of explosive devices like air guns that will be facing the sea's bottom and i will keep exploding it every 15 seconds very loud explosions a big energy wave will go down hit the surface of the sea the bottom of the sea and then it will be reflected back and depending upon the uh, waves that are received they would be able to tell to some idea they'll have a better idea of the nature of the rock formations below and they will then be able to say that these places are likely to be the places where an exploratory well well has to be dug now these explosions are extremely dangerous for local fish you take an aquarium tank and tap it the fish will run you think about putting an explosion in the sea so there'll be no fish in the surrounding areas so you'll have an the fish of folk with empty nets and not only that there are some uh, marine mammals and some of the creatures like octopus a uh, dolphins whales uh, all of these are found in the delta region and these these are animals that navigate using the same echo process so they put out sound energy they get uh, the waves back and through that echo location they navigate they are very sensitive to to these to the vibrations to under undersea uh, submarine vibrations and there you go and put a a, a bomb like this you can kill them their diaphragms can explode and they can die and so these are all protected species they endangered species they are very important for the the biodiversity of the local seas so on the one hand you have a huge economic impact on the local fisher folk on the other hand you have a huge impact on the biodiversity which has a longer term impact on the local fishing economy as well